Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. I'm just going to go ahead and do a, it's almost like a be aware. Let's see who you need to stay away from right now and why. Now, this is a general message. It may not resonate with everyone. So take the parts that resonate for you, leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. So I do hope that everybody's well, Virgos. All right, Spirit, who do my Virgos need to stay away from at this time? And then we'll try and see why. I feel like this message is going to be mostly for my Virgos here. That, um, it, you know, because I just saw the Six of Wands. Wow. Okay. I just saw the Six of Wands, you know. You know that talks about victory and success. So it's almost like I want to say, especially if you feel like things are moving kind of very smoothly in your life right now, um, especially if for some of you, if your, you know, your hopes, your dreams, your wishes are coming through, or some of you are just in this energy where you're kind of motivated to chase after your dreams, right? Um, and for those of you that are on your divine path, you know that you're always going to have attacks here and there, okay? Now, I'm saying wow, because as a part of the deck, I'm seeing the magician and the devil, So that definitely makes me feel like spell work here. What do my Virgos need to stay away from at this time? Thank you, Spirit. The sign of Virgo or any other sign that may be watching. What is the energy here? What do Virgos need to stay away from, Spirit? And look at that. <laughs> Came straight out the devil. Uh-huh. So this is Capricorn energy, but it doesn't have to be a Capricorn that you are dealing with. This will be the energy of someone who is very low vibrational. This could be someone who maybe suffers from like depression or mental health here. Um, this could definitely be someone who has some sort of addictions. Um, this is an, um, a very much obsessed energy. I'm hearing um, hmm, someone who acts out of character. So that almost makes me want to say like a shapeshifter. Um, you have someone who is very materialistic, um, someone who may have sexual demons. So this could even be someone who, you know, maybe has a lot of sexual partners. Um, this is someone who likes to, I want to say, control people, maybe because they feel like they don't have any control over their own life. Now, this would also be someone who likes to control people because it makes them feel powerful. The devil. I'm not even going to lie. For some of you, you may be dealing with someone you have children with or even a mother figure. But let's see. Who do my Virgos need to stay away from at this time? Thank you, Spirit. Show me. Why is the devil energy here? Um, with that empress energy as well, I almost want to say, you know, be careful here as well. Maybe someone who is trying to trap you, maybe with a child here. Now that can go either way, male or females. You have the three of cups. Show me more. You have the ten of wands. You have, okay, the ten of swords. For some of you, it makes me feel like this is someone who wants to cause you some sort of burdens here. This is someone who wants to, it's almost like, I hope this isn't like, you know, this is someone who literally wants to leave you for dead with this Ten of Swords. You know, the Ten of Swords, it talks about having enemies. This can talk about gossip and lies, right? So someone who can't get their name out your mouth, um, that kind of an energy. This is somebody who wants you to, it's almost like they want you to fail at something. Clarify this devil. Look at this. The moon, the six of pentacles. For some of you, this may even have been someone here that paid somebody to do something. It feels like this is someone who doesn't want you to have any celebrations. Or this is people where it's um, more than one person. You know, this could be two people working together, three people working together. So maybe a group of people. With the Three of Cups. What is the devil energy? What do my Virgos need to stay away from right now? Wow, okay, I don't know. It couldn't be much clearer. 
You have the King of Wands coming out here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So I did a general reading and this King of Wands kept coming out. <clears throat> yeah, somebody don't want me to speak. I don't know. But this King of Wands kept coming out in this reading. So, you know, and I was thinking, hmm, this energy is a little bit weird, like, you know. And I was like, hmm, I don't know if I'm going to post this. But, you know, I don't know what messages you guys may get from that video. So I may post it anyway. So King of Wands. This could be someone who needs some sort of healing here. Um, this is someone who maybe, I don't know, they maybe they don't like the fact that you are spiritual if you are here. This is someone who maybe doesn't like the fact that you have faith, that you have hope, that you're inspirational to people. This is someone who doesn't like the fact that you are creative. What is the three of cups? Who do my Virgos need to stay away from, Spirit? What is the energy here? Mm, coming out sideways. Hmm, so... Okay, I feel like it's coming out more in the reverse than it is sideways here. Now, in the reverse, the five of wands talks about someone who, you know, who does, isn't interested in conflict. They're not interested in arguing. They're not interested in um, being in competition with people, right? This may be someone, like I said, so maybe they're mad that you are the one celebrating here with this three of cups, right? Maybe you're just kind of living your best life, going out with friends here. This talks about happiness. It talks about happy times, just enjoying life, whether it's on your own or whether it is with people that you trust. This is someone who may have wanted to put you in some sort of conflict. But like I said, maybe you turned your back on the conflict and just said, you know what, I'm not going to put energy into this situation. I'm not going to put energy into you. You don't serve me. You ain't coming with me on my path. So what is the point? Five of Wands in the reverse. What is the Ten of Wands? Who do my Virgos need to stay away from at this time? Thank you, Spirit. The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I told you this person wanted to cause burdens for you. But because you come across as very much mature, grounded here. Some of you may own your own businesses, so this person could have, you know, tried to make you struggle if you have, like, like I said, your own business or something that you run on your own, something that you kind of almost wanted to say built from the bottom up. You know, because you're coming across as very independent, they may hate that about you, where this person may be very codependent. This person may hate that you are success, um, successful Maybe this person hates that you are financially stable, if some of you are. Or maybe you just know how to balance your finances. Queen of Pentacles isn't always someone who is financially abundant. You know, she ain't always someone who's got thousands or millions in the bank. No, but maybe she knows how to, you know, um, how would I say it? Prioritize her finances. Maybe some of you are on your way to financial freedom, whatever that means for you. Now, for some of you, this Queen of Pentacles could also be representing, you know, somebody's wife. But I feel like it's representing you here, Virgos. Yeah, I just saw the Sun and the Ten of Pentacles. What is the Ten of Swords? Hmm, Page of Wands in the reverse. Hmm. it kind of feels like for some of you like i said that ten of swords this is someone who doesn't want you to receive any good news it's almost like this is someone who wants you to lose your enthusiasm they want you to lose that childlike energy they want you to have A lack of. Now, give me one more round, Spirit. Because like I said, maybe this is what they wanted for you, this Ten of Swords. But with that page of ones in the reverse, it would tell me that, you know what? 
Maybe it's not good news for them because maybe you are still thriving. Maybe you are still going. Maybe you still are holding your head up high here, Virgos. Nine of Pentacles, yeah. Give me one more round. Who do my Virgos need to stay away from and why? We have the Four of Cups. Because you are bored with this person's offer. Because this person has some sort of regrets. Because they feel like they missed an opportunity here. It is it's giving the energy of this. I don't know if this person is delusional. I don't know with that devil. You know the four of cups. It says focusing on the negative. It says depression. Nostalgia. Remorse. Show me more. So you have the chariot and then you have the seven of pentacles. So a lot of my Virgos, it looks like you just have your head down working here with that seven of pentacles and the queen of pentacles because it makes the eight of pentacles. So again, it makes me feel like something that you are investing in here, something that you have put a lot of time, effort or energy into, something that you have mastered. And it looks like, you know, someone here tried to stop something coming to fruition for you. It says things coming to fruition, hard work paying off. It says harvest, rewards, profits, results, payouts, manifestations of ideas or goals. It can talk about an inheritance. But it talks about something growing for you that you have nurtured. And this is someone who wanted to take that away from you. Now, you do have the chariot out here as well. And it looks like, you know, this person may be upset that since you walked away from this person, you are having some sort of victory. But that chariot is also about that energy of being divinely guided by your ancestors and your angels. So some of you listen to that guidance. Some of you found the willpower to move away, like I said, from this five of wands, from the conflict, from the competition. For some of you, for this person, put you in third party situations. That's why they're mad. Ten of swords and a page of wands in the reverse. 11 11 on the clock for some of you i don't know almost wanted to say this may even be a twin flame that you're dealing with wow look at this heavy heavy fire i mean i will call out the other signs okay so you have the emperor coming out here this makes me feel like this is somebody who wanted some sort of control they wanted some sort of power over a situation here now it is in the upright. So again, this could be telling me for my masculine energies, like maybe you own your own business. But it looks like Virgo, you're very focused and disciplined about something here. You know, the emperor is usually an older energy. So it makes me think of wisdom. Or it just makes me feel like this is someone who should know better. What is this person's next actions towards Virgo? What my Virgos need to stay away from right now, Spirit. What are their next actions towards Virgo? Give me three cards. The Ace of Swords. So there may be some sort of truth or clarity coming out about this situation here. Or with this Ace of Swords, it would make me feel like, hey, this person may be in the process of thinking of some sort of new plan, new strategy here. Show me more. Two more cards. Now, it could be also with this five of cups at the bottom of the deck that this person is in some sort of, like I said, crying over spilt milk in some sort of sadness or despair here, right? Because maybe you see right through them. What is this Ace of Swords? What is the next actions here? Queen of Cups. Show me more. And the Eight of Cups. I feel like for some of my Virgos, I feel like at one point you may have had a lot of feelings for this person here. 
right queen of cups you may have showed them some sort of love you know the queen of cups is very nurturing here you know she provides security you know she she, she brings happiness she's also very intuitive here um this queen of cups energy but you know it talks about being faithful um it talks about someone who is easily wounded so again maybe this person hurt you in the past here take it out resonate but with this eight of cups That's the Nine of Cups together. I feel like you're still going to kind of walk away from this situation. Now, I don't know if they're leaving someone. That could also be a possibility here, right? Maybe they have left someone. And, you know, if they do have this kind of narcissistic energy where they're very much codependent here, you know, maybe they feel like, oh, okay, I'm going to go towards the Virgo because they're doing okay. Different for everyone. What's after that Eight of Cups? Because these two, these two make the nine of cups, which talks, like I said, talks about wish fulfillment, happiness, your dreams coming through. Look at that justice. The scales being balanced here. One more. I almost wanted to say um, the page of cups. I almost wanted to say, I don't know, it kind of felt like someone here... Maybe getting caught up with the law or if you refuse this person for some of you, they may have to stay with somebody that they already have in their energy. I don't know if this person is married here. I don't know. Anything else for it? Yeah, look at that judgment. All these um, major arcanas coming out here. It's almost like with this card coming out um, sideways, like I said, I don't know if someone has some legal situations going on, but this could also be that spirit says, you know what, this person can't come towards you because they haven't had some sort of awakening. Now, it could be also that, you know, spirit is saying that this person can't come towards you because we saw that page of cups. Some of you, they owe you an apology. Anything else, Spirit? The Eight of Cups and the Eight of Cups, <laughs> the Eight of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. For some of my Virgos, it looks like your advice is to keep your head down, keep working here. Maybe this is an energy of maybe you need to leave this person out in the cold. But at the end of the day, you know, free judgment, guys. You know, yeah, judgment, <laughs> free judge. Free judgment, free will is what I'm meant to say. Y'all can, you know, do what you want. But I don't know if you guys have someone new coming in here. There's definitely success on the cards. So Virgos, that is what I have for you today. Weird, strange energy here today. Yeah, I just parted the deck on the High Priestess and the Moon. So I don't know, there may be something in the air. But that's what I have for you today, Virgos. Guys, stay safe, love and light.